We have to come up with a solution. I would consider it, whether it's North Korea, whether it's so many other things. We have a lot of things. Look, I've been giving, given a very tough hand. Because I came up here, we had an economy that was going down. We had a, an Iran problem. We had a Middle East problem. Take a look at what was going on in the Middle East. It's a lot better now. You're a lot smoother right now than anything you heard over the last eight years. But we were given a lot of bad cards. One of the bad cards, we're given this immigration mess. And it was made worse by all of the different contradicting and the contradicting laws that have been passed. Hmm. Joe. Don't know where to start, actually. Uh, but let me just tick it off as quickly as I can. First of all, on the issue of the day, immigration, we've said it. Uh, in fact, we said it during the campaign, said the wall made absolutely no sense because actually in the last two or three years of the Obama administration, there was actually a net negative flow into the United States and more uh, immigrants going back into Mexico, in part because their economy is strengthening, in part because of NAFTA. Uh, you can talk about our economy. Uh, we had a seven-year recovery, the last seven years of Barack Obama's presidency. We had a recovery, an economic recovery that has continued, and let's all be grateful for that. As far as Iran goes, we're in a worse situation now. I was against the Iran deal. But, you know, the fact is right now that it's just uh, the Iranians and the Europeans now that are working together and we're pushed to the side. So we have effectively negotiated our way out of any relevance in the future of Iran's nuclear program. If Donald Trump thinks uh, running away uh, from a problem is the correct answer, so be it. Uh, and, you know, I've had so many foreign policy uh, people predict to me that at some point Donald Trump will turn on North Korea because North Korea got what it wanted. Uh, you build up to a summit where the North Koreans are actually sitting with the president of the United States because that sort of credibility is all they ever wanted. Donald Trump gave it to them right out of the gate. So if that's success, uh, then Donald Trump is certainly grading himself on an extraordinarily low curve. And again, most importantly, the economy has been getting better for seven years. Uh, it's been getting better on a straight line. And, you know, Mika, yeah. also, as we say again, this immigration crisis that Donald Trump talks about is made up. Yeah. No, and you really, uh, it does impact this human humanitarian crisis, let alone an immigration crisis. It does impact our national security as well, our standing in the world. As we go to final thoughts to end this week, this president has created a negative news cycle that he cannot erase or turn over in a tweet, a lie, or with the use of a stooge. He can try. It won't work because this is much bigger than him. This won't take weeks or months to rectify, if only. This is going to be a lifetime of pain for thousands of children, and it will go down in the records of history that he was the president who put out this cruel, humane, uh, inhumane, and deranged policy that traumatized children. And this is not one that he can turn over in a tweet or deflect with a crazy statement or have someone step up and lie for him. You see the Attorney General of the United States lying actually lying even though everybody has tape of him saying exactly the opposite you can get your stooges to lie for you but this negative news cycle is not turning over in a tweet or a lie john hellman final thoughts i, I think there is a to go back to jacob soberoff and joe scarborough i at this moment there's no more urgent thing uh, in the country urgent than the plight of these kids and the future kids who are going to be put in these facilities it is essential that the press be given access to these facilities. We must get in. And we don't let and, up. And I, and I believe that Jacob is right. We, we should not be broadcasting the propaganda video and the I propaganda agree. pictures, and we need to band together as a profession. I and agree. Do whatever we can to demand 
access to these facilities so we can shoot them with our cameras. News it's, executives it's, should get together today right. and band together Correct. on that. Correct. The fate, the fate of the children is obviously paramount, but the politics here, despite what the president says this morning in a tweet that he's, they should have, Republicans should abandon the idea of an immigration fix, uh, this is not something that he's going to let go. And in fact, this allows him to perhaps even continue to incorrectly, but blame Democrats for the lack of progress, and he'll continue to use his incendiary rhetoric on the issue going we forward. We need to rebrand the midterm elections. It is for the soul of America. You're either voting for ripping children out of people's hands, or you're not. It's on us. So uh, we'll end the show, Joe, quoting Melania Trump. Uh, she wants to know how the children are doing and how they're being reunited with their families. We, the media, want to know where the children are. We want to see them. We want to see the babies. We want to know what is happening. And that does it for us this morning. Stephanie Rule picks up the coverage right now. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.